Hello, here is Dieter Bieler from SETUB. Today we want to demonstrate the multi-axis capabilities of the SETUB Master Max. The Master Max is able to control up to 32 axes in jerk limited movements or even in cam curve interpolation mode. You can see an overview of the architecture on the picture coming next. The sample time of the position loop is one millisecond and we work with two CAN buses and one Ethercat bus simultaneously. In this little demonstration we can see a combination of 13 axes, one MAX5 and one with six drives and several I.O. modules all connected to the master MAX. Now we take a closer look to the single bus systems. First we will follow the Ethercat bus. This bus with the yellow line first leads to a white Müller input-output model. From here we follow the line to a Cole Morgan servo drive AKD. Then going over to the next panel where we have connected FC302 with Ethercut options and encoder options. This frequency converter drives a normal asynchronous motor. From here we go over the whole way to panel number 3. Where we can see two Maxon MaxPos amplifiers with motors connected. Here is the first one. And here is the second one. Now we follow the green line going to two Dunker motors with integrated amplifiers and Ethercut interface. Those are Dunker Motors BGE45. From here on we go with the green line to the MAX5 Amp1 which has itself amplifiers for six DC motors you can see over here. Then you can see that we also use the EtherCut master bus of the MAX5 which goes to a backup input-output module. So these are cascaded EtherCut buses. Now we go to back to the master MAX and follow the CAN bus number one. This bus with these pink lines first went to a FC280 MIDI drive from Danfoss with a 24 volt encoder connected and driving this AC drive over here. From here on we follow the lines going to two Foul Harbor motors with integrated amplifier and CAN bus interface. You can see those are very compact drives. From there we go to a Maxon MCD with integrated amplifier and CAN bus. Now we follow the second line which first goes to a Maxon EPOS 2 with a drive. This is a very small print here. Then we go to a foul harbor drive with integrated amplifier and CAN bus interface. And from here we go to the SETU BDSA amplifier and a I.O. module which in turn blinks the green light you have seen before. This motor is connected to the DSA.
back to the master max we now follow the rs485 connection to this little display which works in modbus interface technology so here you can read data out of the master max and set data you can see in the master max other interfaces not connected at the moment so for example the master max isacut slave interface which could be connected to a plc from backoff or other plc's or pc further on the master max uh, we have connected a standard ethernet interface in our example here the rad cable which is connected to a pc here we demonstrate the master max ability to act as a web server so with any browser you can directly connect to the master max and use your own web pages which are stored on the memory card which is plugged into the master max in our example here the web page shows the positions of all drives we hope we could give you a short impression of the features of the master max from ZGB. this amazing device has even more capabilities like a real-time clock data capturing functions for diagnostic purposes, encoder interface for synchronizing features, digital input-output interface, RS-232, other bus features and much, much more. So if you are interested, please contact us for more information.